Okay, well today we are taking the 1967 Skeeto Olympic out. It's February 4th, and it is about 14 degrees above uh, zero, which it's been better than the last week or so. We were below zero uh, in the teens and stuff. But we are going to be taking a run around Lake Namakagan. Uh, there's a trail that I was going to take the other day uh, that finally has another snowmobile trail and it wasn't, it's not being maintained but it's really nice, cool, right through the middle of the woods and stuff so that part's really cool and then we're going to go past uh, Pioneer Bar and we see a lot of other snowmobiles there and then we take a run through the Namakaka campground and then past uh, the Loon Saloon and then uh, finishing up kind of over by the Playmore uh, yeah, so we pass a lot of people on the on the lake trails and by the by the restaurants and bars So if you see yourself drop me a comment uh, if you were up around on Nam Lake Namakagan this weekend uh, Hope you enjoy the video and I will talk to you in the comments camera looked a little uh, like it was a little crooked so I wanted to make sure it was straight. Yeah, this dog coming up here he, he, he starts coming after me it's like I was hoping he turned around but his owner called him and he headed back. Okay, well this is the trail that I w was going to take in the other video, but it hadn't been ridden on yet. I'm coming at it from a different angle. Before I came at it from the Pioneer Bar side, uh, this time I'm coming from the other side. I figured if there was a trail going up this way, it would all the way through the woods then which it is so this is a really cool part it's the the trail is in very good shape because it hadn't been uh, maintained but seeing another snowmobile hit it I knew it would be packed down enough for my vintage snowmobile I think I need to get some new gloves pretty soon because these, it's 14 degrees, but my fingers feel it <laughs> through these gloves, so I have to like move my fingers around quite a bit in them. Yeah, 
Yeah, this part of the trail, you don't want to ride it in a vintage sled if somebody hasn't ridden on it before you, because being under the power lines like this, it's, it gets pretty deep. You could pretty much be getting stuck. <laughs> and then you, you know, you see there's a tree down, kind of, that's where the trail usually goes on that other side of the power line. section of the trail in the spring uh, there'll be maple syrup bags on all these on a lot of these maple trees back in here in March We're not coming across any other people at this point because as you can see it's only a uh, single lane could get up into the deep snow but the trees are pretty tight in here so it's usually not much traffic which is good because they don't maintain it so it, it would probably be wider if they did it's this is more like a, a branch for for people that live over in this area that need to be able to get over to the lake and the main trails. A few years ago on this stretch, as I was riding through, it was a really sunny day and uh, an owl flew out and flew over the top of my head for a ways before heading back into the trees. You don't see owls too often in the daytime and then the fact that he flew right above my head was pretty cool. when there's less snow you'll see a lot more deer and animal activity while you're out riding on these trails but with uh, having as much snow as we do they're sticking to places where it's packed down and they're staying to areas that they've already traveled Now this is the spot where in the last video that we came over this way I would have gone down that way in it but it wasn't ridden on yet so I turned around and followed the Pioneer Road back towards the fire station up here and then on through to Pioneer Bar. Yeah, 
Yes, the trail's pretty rough. Can't really open it up. Not with the six inches of suspension. I like the well-maintained trails, but I do love these offshoots too, where they don't have them well-maintained, kind of a through the woods kind of setting it really pretty. And there's usually not much traffic, which is a good thing. Sometimes though, with the vintage snowmobile, you might need more activity if it breaks down and you need somebody to happen by <laughs> to tow you home. Uh, but things worked out pretty good today. Weather was nice, and as you can see, I, I love the snow on the trees and stuff. Bring some of those branches down to where you bump your head on them as you're driving under them, but it's not too bad. You can tell, I don't know if you can really tell through the video, but you're up and down, there's quite a few little mounds in the middles of the trail, so you can't really open it up. Now we're coming up on Highway D and Pioneer Bar. As you'll see, there's quite a few people there eating. So if you saw me here today, uh, let me know down in the comments. Or if you see your snowmobile there. I stop here for a little bit. <laughs> Try to stop. The idle's pretty pretty high right now, so I have to turn that down because I let off the brake. I keep moving. But the reason I stop is because usually my battery on my camera dies on me right in the middle of my trip, and then I miss out on a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So today I brought an extra battery with, and wanted to make sure I was still recording. And luckily it was, so we get things back together again and head up back out. This stretch between Pioneer Bar and the lake usually would be pretty rutted up, but this year we got so much snow and they must have just taken the, 
machine over it and have it groomed pretty nicely. We can open it up a little bit more on this stretch. I haven't really been able to do that yet. Not even on the lake because you hit those bumps and stuff. If you saw the last video I released, I had hit, hit a pretty big ice chunk and racked my knee pretty bad. Uh, it's getting better. It itches now and it's a little stiff, but I was able to ride today for for quite a while without any problems, so that's nice. At this intersection, if you turn to the right, you go down to the Namakaga campground and to Magashin. Here's the Namakog campground. I usually run around this every time I go out, but this year this is the first time I've had a chance to go because I had to wait for other snowmobiles to ride on it first. Can't really access stuff with this much snow with the old sleds until somebody else beats the trail. <laughs> or you might not make it out of there without having a tow. As soon as we start to get back onto the lake trail, we start getting a lot of other snowmobiles going by. So, if you were one of them and you saw me out on the fidget sled, drop me a comment, say hi, try to wave to everybody.
Okay, this is the turn where we go up to go up to the Loon Saloon off of Highway D. With these snow banks, it gets a little tricky on seeing if somebody's coming around those corners. So you just got to be real cautious. Lots of snowmobiles and trucks. There's a few trucks parked on the, the road. I don't know if those are people that are out ice fishing or if they're at the re restaurant bar also. This is the bridge that you can see from my house. And then the hilltop is right there. You can see from the bay by my house. I love these untouched areas where it's just... Uh, Nice, smooth snow. There's the loon again. That hill is pretty steep. So I wanted to make sure there was no traffic coming before I tried shooting up that incline to get right back up onto the road. Great to see the place really busy. during the day today, being Saturday. Friday night was a lot of snowmobiles out on the lake, and then 
a Saturday night was a ton of snowmobiles going by, like a pretty, pretty steady stream later this day. I don't ride in the dark with the vintage snowmobiles because there's too much chance of breaking down and then you'd be stuck in the dark. So I always ride when there's good daylight and I know there's people around. A couple people ice fishing right in the middle of the trail. front of my house is pretty good. It's pretty flat and beat down really nice and people haven't rutted it up and stuff. We're kind of uh, centralized so we get a lot of the snowmill activity going between all the different restaurants and bars and stuff and then straight ahead there it would be, if you keep going, is Lakewoods and Garmish and Four Seasons or Four Seasons to the right, Garmish is to the left, and uh, Lakewoods is straight ahead. And we're turning here, this is the going towards uh, Playmore. It's Playmore just down from my house, which you see in all my other videos, because I generally ride around my house area, so I'm usually in front of Pla uh, Playmore. <laughs> And straight ahead there, that's the bridge that we were looking at from the other side over by the Loon Saloon a little while ago. Heading up into the lagoon to get back up to the driveway, back to the house. I had to do a lot of snow blowing up in this section because when the snow plow comes through they always plug my my little entrance here up and I had to hit it I, as you can see I carved it out a little more the other day and I can open it up a little bit more on the driveway because it's nice and flat Usually I would get onto the lake, sometimes past the, the dock there, but I left the that seat out, so I figured this is where the ducks come up and down, and the deer have been, as you can see with their trail. I figured I'd get down on the lake that way once, then make my way back up again before parking the snowmobile. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you saw yourself or if you plan on coming up to Lake Namakagan at any time. Uh, and enjoy the snowmobiling up here. Have a great rest of your day.